Hey everyone, it's Steph and Emily and today we're at home with Anna's flowers and we wanted to show you how to incorporate some spring trends into your very own home. Yeah, so um, basically why we put this together is we thought sometimes it's kind of overwhelming when you go into a retail store and you love a lot of the items that are in there but you don't know how to incorporate it into your space. Um, so what we did is we've taken some of our favorites and some of our other employees' favorites and we brought it home and we tried to stage it and position it in a way that you could do as well. So today we're talking about a few different topics. Starting off are some really cool things you can incorporate into your home to make it more spring. So let's start off with color. Yeah, so what you're gonna do with color is take a look around your home and try and locate all of the darker tones. So if you have your browns, your blacks, your jewel tones that you maybe pulled out for winter or even fall, um, Put those away and bring out the lighter and brighter fabrics. So go more with the pastels, the whites, the light beige, um, any pops of color that you resonate with, whether it's coral or turquoise or yellow, whatever your favorite is. So pretty much we're trying to incorporate the outdoors inside. So we're just bringing the spring weather from outdoors back inside of our homes and make it bright and colorful again. Yeah. And another great way to do this is to incorporate real foliage and artificial foliage into your own home as well. So at Anna's this year we have a ton of artificial foliage which is really really pretty and so realistic. So some of the more favorite neutral tones are lamb's ear which is this really pretty garland behind us. We have it in garland and in picks. Which there's some picks over there as yeah. well. We have a eucalyptus as a nice neutral base which is baby eucalyptus and seeded eucalyptus are very popular this year. Really pretty ferns. So ferns, we have them in picks, we have them in wreaths, and they're really good to add to an arrangement or to stick into beside a candle or on a dresser. And then also magnolia, which is a really pretty favorite flower, but we love just the plain neutral colored leaves, which are green and more of a copper tone on the other side, which are also good for picks and wreaths. So we'll show you the wreath on Emily's door as well. Yeah. What else have we got here? Some of your favorites. Yes. Don't forget about those. So, Monstera, you guys may have seen these leaves popping up all over. They've been really trendy these past few years. We finally, for the first year, got them in real florals, and now we're starting to carry them in artificial as well. So you can incorporate these big, really outstanding leaves in different ways under placemats. You can have them in a centerpiece as an arrangement. Yeah, it looks really nice. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram just buying like a, a really beautiful like glass vessel and placing one one in there and it just it makes such a statement because they're such a big leaf. And they're so pretty, so yeah. cool. Very modern. We also have them in little vessels. These ones are also artificial, but we do have them in real pots with several leaves with they have little cutouts in them which is really cute. And also some more bright colors. You have your florals, real flowers, which are hydrangeas are popular for spring. Um, that one right there, do you mind grabbing it? Yeah, that sure. one right there is our brand new tabletop hydrangea. We have just received them in the store. So these ones are really pretty violet blue colors. Um, we also have them in pinks, purples, we have them in yellows, and we'll be receiving the larger, more hardy perennial versions very soon as well, which are great spring pups of color. It's your classic Easter flower. Yeah, exactly. Whenever you see it, you're like, ah, spring's here. Yeah, it's <laughs> coming. Yeah, for sure. So on the counterpart of that, we also have them in artificial. Um, usually hydrangea picks come with one individual flower pick, which is really cool because you can incorporate them into a bouquet. And they come in a variety of colors as well. Um, some more popular flowers for spring are also for Scythia, which is a delicate yellow flower. Um, we have those ones in picks and wreaths. And also white flowers like snapdragons, um, foxgloves, more clustered flowers to make a really pretty accent in the center of a bouquet or arrangement. Yeah, and these peonies up here actually, those are some of my favorites. I just think the, the soft purple lilac so color is so pretty. Yeah, so another way to incorporate um, spring and lighten things up in your home is to look at your fabrics. Um, most times or after winter, you have a lot of knit and heavy blankets. So lighten things up a bit, make it feel a little more airy. So you can do that with pillows. Um, we have so many pillows in the store right now that are very vibrant um, or incorporate floral prints or all kinds of different fun things. Um, table runners, this is a really pretty table runner that we have. Um, this chenille blanket, uh, it comes in coral as well as I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any other colors. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, I think that's what you would do in terms of fabric. 
Yeah, we have a lot of nice new napkins coming in as well. And we're going to have a lot more natural colored pillows and macrames and things to hang on your wall that are more soft textiles rather than just Even placemats too. Like, yeah. um, anything that's more wicker and, like I said, airy and see-through and um, yeah, that's kind of what we've been incorporating yeah. in the space. And I aprons think. even are oh, fun. Yeah. Those are coming in. Those are fun, light fabrics. So pretty. Makes you want to start cooking. Yeah, for sure. It doesn't happen very often for me. <laughs> um, also, baskets are a really easy way to incorporate more spring into your home by placing some of your houseplants, larger houseplants, under baskets on the floor. And um, even just putting your pillows and blankets on, um, on the floor with your baskets is really cool too. Mm -hmm. So another thing to help spring, to add spring to your home, is accents in your home. So this can include home decor, vessels, bowls, Candles. Tabletop items, uh, yeah, candles, and signs. So this sign behind us is really pretty. It says stay a while. Um, Emily did have a bunch of pictures up on the wall here, and we added this really cute little saying instead with some foliage around to make it really bright and springy. Um, this year, some of our favorite trends are some more ceramics, which we have actually just started carrying this year. Um, really expanded on lines of ceramics. Um, this one here is more of like a milk jug, old milk jug style. And um, we've noticed a lot of them have had two tones in them, or like a more rough and then a more glazed style. And the speckled look is very in as well. When yes. we were in, when we were at a lot of the shows, that it seemed to be everywhere and matte as well. Which is really cute because it actually looks like a really subtle like mm -hmm. nest or egg. It's yeah, really cute. very natural, earthy looking. So ceramics and pottery is really popular this year, and it's easy just to add to a table, switch out your normal vase and. Add a more springy green neutral color vase or a pastel color, really easy and pretty. And also planting your house plants into really cute vessels. This one here looks like has the spotted egg speckles as well. Purples and blues and greens. Terracottas are coming up as well. Yes. Um, a lot of things like coasters. It's a super easy way to change out your dark wooden coasters for more spring colors, bright colors. These ones here are crystal with gold accents on the side. And then really cute new little plates we got in. I love these. They're so cute. They're definitely a favorite among <laughs> yeah. us. So there's a few colors here. Sweet little monogram. Great for a gift for putting jewelry on or yeah. whatever really. Put it under a teacup. You can yeah. use it as a coaster, under idea. a house plant. There's a few different colors there. And then lastly, candles, as we mentioned earlier. So we, we Elaborated on a few different types of candles we have gotten this year. Swan Creek is really great for keeping up with trends of colors, as Emily was saying. And they smell so, so good. Mm. These ones are smells so like nice. spring. It yeah. matches Em's shirt. Yeah. She's in the spring mood. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have this one as well. So this is lavender and lemongrass. This is one of my favorite ones. And this one's citrus and sage. And there's plenty more in the red. I love it. You know, so good. Mm -hmm. So fresh. Yeah, for sure. So that's that. Um, we hope you guys open up your windows and we hope the weather keeps cooperating and feels more spring-like. We are very ready for spring at Anna's and we're so excited for a new season and to have you guys in. We miss you. Come visit us soon. Yeah, take care. Bye guys. Bye.